So a bit of an update, because, well, an update in more than one way, I suppose. The also mod has updated a bit. It turns out we do need a Gilman Navigator confirmed for Gauss, or rather a Navigator, it turns out. But since we're like only getting Gilman, a Gilman Navigator never existed. They do now. Gilman Navigators are a thing. So we've got a bit of a chance now of actually getting Gauss unlocked, which would be fantastic because I feel like we're a couple months behind on getting Gauss going because I think once I unlock Gauss, I still have to research the guns individually. <laughs> the Gauss pistol, Gauss rifle, the heavy Gauss, etc, etc. <sighs> still working on the molecular control technology, which is going average now. Hopefully that gets finished up kind of sort of soon so that we can... Uh, MC Reader, hopefully, some folks, and see what ranks we're dealing with. With it being the 9th of May. I feel a bit pressured to go for this base, but I really don't want to unless I really super have to. I feel like our score this month is pretty good, but it's not really saying a whole lot ultimately. The more day is done in 19 hours. It's finally done. Nice. So we can make some medkits for money. Or... Yeah, we gotta do a bit of repairing, actually. Do that first. One day, seven hours. And the more is... Faster, sturdier. Yeah, a bit faster. A little more fuel, a bit sturdier. No cargo space though, there's no using this on missions. At some point the mod updated and you could use the Barracuda for landing. Works in a pinch at the very start if you have very bad luck or so. And then the two weapon points, which is a bit expected. I kept some materials on hand for that. Thinking I might go with Ajax and DUP head honestly. Something a little bit heavier, burlier, more substantial. Okay, five seconds. <laughs> Didn't take long. Uh, you get 20 and then get a few more of the gas rounds, how about? Ah, there we go, MC Tech. Finally! Taught us about the MC Disruptor, the ultimate in MC technology, used by Akonauts with MC skills. We can jam and control. I don't plan on using that. Like, I will if I have to. But traditionally in XCOM, the way that I would handle it, when I was playing XCOM Utility, I would always enable line of sight mind control. So they couldn't just mind control people within the ship on the first turn. Because if they saw one person, they saw everybody all the time or something. Now, I don't think that's much of an option. I think you can enable it, but I've kind of just left it as is, where they can do mind control. I just don't want to. That's just how I play the game. I just don't wanna. I'll use the MC Reader though, because I gotta figure out which ranks are what, which... We can now produce the Disruptor in Reader. The Disruptor taking ZR by plastics and implanters. The MC Reader taking ZR by plastic and learning arrays. Ooh. Okay. Might not be a terrible way to get rid of the MC arrays if I got the ZR bite and plastics for, you know, whatever. Don't do that yet. Okay, there's also MC lab, MC generator, and a cybernetics lab. Okay, hold on. First things first. <laughs> One second. <laughs> What a big research. Just people flooding into the, my office being like, oh, we know how to do this now. Uh. <laughs> uh, okay, we know MC strength, I guess. So there's that. Um, MC generator reduces the chance of them finding us, right? Yeah. A negative MC emitter to blanket a base with an impenetrable shield to confuse the aliens and disguise our presence. Keeps us a bit more hidden. I think a lot more hidden as well. I don't remember how much.
Cybernetics Lab. Well, MC Lab first, how about? Implant and train up to 10 Aquanauts at one time. Implants are surgically installed in the skulls of Aquanauts. Extensive training allows them to utilize their implants. Implant skills are used in conjunction with a molecular device and can be used for attacks during combat. Yeah. Um, I don't think this helps out the resistances, though. I think. So that's something that's kind of ignorable, since I don't really plan on doing MC stuff. Cybernetics Lab doesn't have a middle click. Is it in here? It is not. How mysterious. What could it do? I assume involving cybernetics in some way. Five implanters, five arrays, 800,000 bucks, 32 days, 16,000 maintenance? Not enough money. Oh, I'll make the money. That's all right. How much money do we want? <laughs> I have so many ion beam accelerators. <laughs> how, how rich would you like to be? Oh, I mean, just a little bit. I don't know, we'll sell a couple. It's probably not really that much money in the grand scheme of things, but just enough to get cybernetics started, I suppose. I'm assuming this is dealing with implants to train up our troops and all that. We'll plunk it there in the empty room. I don't remember if I had a plan for that or if it was just a room to be a room. I think just a room to be a room. Then Dudeski Resort. Uh, the more is equipped now, right? It's refueling, but generally. We can transfer over to the Dudeski Resort. The Barracuda. Congratulations, you have it. I will send over... a purchase order, <laughs> I suppose. I'm not really sending you anything more. You can just buy your own ammo. And the scientists now, right. Um... Yeah, ion armor. Because if I can't get Gauss going right now, then that's the next best thing. Armor for our troops, so we're a bit sturdier. And the repair's done. Did I make the Zerabite ammo? I feel like I made a little bit of it. Like 10 of it? Yeah, I did. Okay, it just wasn't on yet. Take off the high explosive, throw on the ZR Byte ammo. The ZR Byte ammo. 100 power. Up from 65. High explosive, just to confirm. High explosive. Pretty good. We'll get four gas cannons on. All right. There's torpedoes for Holder's Point. Uh, yeah, gas rounds are also coming. You're working on that. What's Marscom 2 doing? Just getting ready still. Okay. There's the iron armor research, so that took like no time at all. That was just straight up done. Resistant to Sonic, very resistant to Gauss. Bit resistant towards high explosive and armor piercing as well. Immune to smoke, which is handy. I think uh, that probably goes for... No. Okay. Not at all. Okay. So even on land, then, I think we're not going to suffer from smoke inhalation, so we can stand in our die grenades and not suffer at all. Not that that's ever much of a problem. Sometimes it is if you get people up from being unconscious after a bit. It sometimes becomes a bit complicated. And then that's the end of the line for that, actually, right now. Because next up we would need magnetic navigation. Which I think we actually need a navigator for. I was kidding when I said that. It's a little bit silly. But alright. <laughs> Fine. I guess. I hope the navigators are really, really stand out. Um, so navigator into magnav and then magnetic ion armor. We're going to be going for the Gauss first, though. So there's... 
It's gonna be a little while until we actually do the, uh... Magnetic iron armor, actually. Good long while. Let's pound out. Technician commander. And for making iron armor, yeah, 25 ZR by 25 plastics. Okay. I can make seven. I think because of money, though. Stop production of that. Work on iron armor. Make what you can. 294,000 bucks. Yeah, it's just because of money. That's okay. We can fix that up. I have the means. <laughs> It's going to be a sad day when I need like 40 ion beam accelerators to do something. Now we can do 15 units. That's a little bit better. Still not great, but it's a little bit better. Nine days for that. How's the storage space? Looking pretty okay. Dudeski Resort, would you please send back over? Actually, it's probably aquaplastics we'd be needing, really. Is that right? Yeah, I don't really have that many plastics. So we'd be looking to make plastics. And plastics does require the ZR bite nowadays because my big mouth pointed it out. Oh, it's a little bit different now, though. It's two ZR bite for 16 plastics instead of one per 10. Yeah, I guess just pound out as much armor as you can and we'll just take it from there and see how it goes. We should be having a terror ship any moment now. That might even be it. Or that one. <sighs> gas rounds 50 arrived at Holder's Point. Excellent. Dudeski Resorts gas rounds. There's the one coming back from their mission. Second one following. Maybe. We didn't detect it, though. Okay. It's a little bit of a quiet month right now. There's the destroyer. You know it, you love it. I don't know if you've ever seen it. Maybe we did one time. Commander's going good. Excellent. Happy for him. I guess Vibroblade? Learn to make a better melee weapon? We sort of use melee a little bit more than, uh... I'm used to, and I'm a little bit afraid of lobster, man. Commander's done. Taught us nothing. Okay, Aquatoid Commander, you're out of here. You know what, Gilman Soldier, you're also out of here. Just go. Uh, I'm, I'm pretty sure we don't need you. Zarkwood Corpse. Oh, prisoners. There. 100,000 bucks for a soldier. Wow. A bit more money for us. Very large shallow heading west. How much armor did we get done? Ten. Ooh. Okay. So, um, highest health. Just x all this out. The highest health folks are getting ion armor. The rest of you are getting plastic. Womp. It's fine plastic, you shush. It's the sturdy kind, it's high density and everything. Yeah. And the uh, look at all those people. So almost half of us then. Okay. Sort by health. To make sure these really fancy ones are definitely on. And then the others are kind of whatever. Grats go by and Azure on was, I just clicked kind of randomly. Okay, because we're getting to be about time now to do that alien base as much as I'd love to avoid it. We don't have a whole lot of opportunity anymore. Sort of committed. 
Poseidon 1. Head over to Alien Structure 1. I don't know when the terror ship's coming. I don't know. Oh, there it is. I found it. Okay, do that one first. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> I get to delay a little bit. It's okay. We will be doing that, though, this month. Um, I really want that gone. I don't think I can afford to keep it around. Some of these rookies are very rookie. Cotton. You can have it. Azuranos can as well. There. Couple gas cannons. Rifles, stun rods. Somebody else with an MC reader. Uh, Ghostly O'Keefe with just a chain gun? That's weird. There you are. You can have something a little more usable. How have I... Oh, were we short on rifle? We might be a little bit short on rifles. The ZR bait pulse screen that I'm not really wanting to bring. It's just gonna get a lot of civilians killed. Okay, we got stun rods, we've got... MC readers, Ghostly O'Keefe, I'm gonna have you with the MC reader out straight away. You can have the rifle in your backpack. No taser though. Probably no medkit. I don't think you'll need it. Getting a little handgun for you would be nice since this is apparently a one-handed thing. Flavor text doesn't say anything about it. That doesn't say anything about it. I think it's one-handed. So a little pistol would be good for you. And then... <sighs> yeah, no. Res, res with that really doesn't make sense. I do want a second person with it, though. How about... Who was always being mind-controlled a lot? Was that... Mr. Tarvin, I think, was, right? It's a shame because you got proper armor on, but... You can still have gear. Here. Okay. How's that? Uh, hi. <laughs> Awkward. Should we tell them? You'll find out. <laughs> You'll find out. Uh, I'd love to move Cotton down and just like blow him up. Do you think we got the angle for that? It's like with a quick little snapshot. Just boom. Got him. Good stuff, Cotton. Leva, aim shot. Punk. Got him. XCOM! Coming in hot. Because you kind of need to in terror missions to have much of a chance at all of success. Ops, standing by. Tunk. Luke is dead. You can load that, that's okay. You don't need to not have it loaded. Although we are, mm, actually, yeah, no. We are fighting aquatoids. 
These don't actually blow up, so it's okay, but anybody else who does have big explosive things... Um, I think hops and res have been okay in the past. Cotton, I'm not sure on. Azuranos, I'm not sure on. We'll take a chance with the rest. Who's got the torpedo launcher? Luke is a... Okay. Right. We need to give you an actual weapon that works. <laughs> I thought we were doing a base! Uh, no. No, there is a terror attack in the meantime. Jeez. <laughs> okay. Let's call that very down for a bit. A bit of MC attempts happening. A lot of civilians dying right away. I don't even know what that was. Was that was that a fire extinguisher? <laughs> uh, I don't want to kill the civilian. Stack of pancakes? Can you like with an auto fire on this dude's back? Is that? You yeah, are right. It did do damage. It does do damage. Cotton with the A people, snapshot. That's goodness knows where. That is just simply gone. Then Leva opened the door for Ove. Ove take an aim shot. Uh Okay. Leva reload. Snapshot, then. Apparently... Wait, hold on. Did these things change? No, Blast Radius 1. What? How did you do damage to him, but also take out a wall? Eh? Okay. Whatever. It's fine. Luke is dead, then. Uh... Chain... Gun... Haha. <laughs> What's this Freddy Krueger glove looking thing? Alright. <laughs> uh, yeah, zero. Yeah, it's not great. We're not the one excellent damage here. Okay. <laughs> that works. <laughs> I didn't know if the 3D explosion would do that. <laughs> Hi, civilian. How are you? <laughs> Excellent. How about you? How you doing up there? Whoa, on the way. Okay, okay, okay. Well, so far, this is going fairly all right, actually. I'm happy to actually have uh, armor. 18% snapshot. Well, you hit. And it's bleeding. I'll take it. That also hit. Cool. Nice terror mission. Well, as nice as it could be, I guess. Uh, and it's daytime, and we got some folks with proper armor. This is, this is feeling nice. Like, proper, proper armor. Even the plastic armor was, like, kind of okay in some cases. But this stuff, though. Oh, man. This stuff. 132 front armor. It's more than double of the plastic. It's just outstanding. I, sh I probably should have gone with the heavy plastic armor for... At least some people, but... Eh, I didn't think I'd be stuck with it for so long. Live and learn, I guess, huh? Alright, Rez. You can get off the ship. Hang out over here or so. Oops, alright. 
Double back a bit. <laughs> Drop something. I don't know. Pick goodbye out here too with ya. And then get a another die grenade out. Cool. Just to cover a bit of our flank. Kieran ready. Anchors out there proper. Here we are. I don't know if that'll help against the robot thing. I'm kind of used to robots seeing through smoke to some extent. Where's that again? What is that? Why is it green? Got a headlamp on, and he's unarmed. Okay, we don't have uh, we don't have bean bags or anything, so just be mindful. There was quite some sonic fire from this direction. Seems to be kind of whatever now. Hops, would you please? Incredible! Just tremendous. Yeah, we're good in here. Rez with a fadeaway. <laughs> a little bit too stylish, Rez. Okay, then. You don't see it. I don't know if you can see it. Not really. Wicked snapshot. Then... Uh... Is it almost dead? It's got one fatal wound, but look at all the health these things have. Oh my god. It's not even that they're armored or anything. They're just really healthy. Okay. So the rifle is a pretty okay weapon against them then, I guess. I mean, really, we'd be looking for, like, the... The minigun or something. Best case. So, uh, yeah. Regarding the Aquatoid, though. See what we can maybe do next turn. For now, hide in some smoke. Get a little bit more out there. Keep it nice and cloudy. I think... That probe, we might be able to get a grenade out too. Yeah, 13. Yeah, so just drop it. Step away. Cotton. Grab it. Throw it. Ugh. Take that building! Yeah! Okay, but how about the probe? The what? <laughs> Uh, rogue. Uh, you pass it. And... Okay, good. All right, excellent. Good. Ah, everybody else is in the way, though. All right, then pass it to Deddy Loader. And Deddy Loader will do a cool diving roundhouse kick. I've never seen such a maneuver before. But the man did it. Ah! <laughs> Uh, and like two civilians are impressed. Okay, as far as reaction fire goes, I think we're okay. Get anchors back a little bit just in case. That navigator is very important. <laughs> Got it. I think the grenade on the rooftop was enough somehow. Ove panicked. Oh god. Alright. I like this navigator practically running itself onto my ship. <laughs> Please do not kill me. I am important. Okay. <laughs> mm. 
Good spotting, but keep the door closed a minute. That's loaded with AP currently. Yeah, nah. Really, we'd be wanting the explosive ammo on that stone. It's just not because of civilians. Can't see this guy, so these shots are just all over the place. Hey, there you go. Good hit. Yeah, that it. Let's get Lucasette up there with the minigun, though. 1%. There we go, how about that? 7%. I think, yeah, one hit. All right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Didn't expect a whole lot, to be fair. Ops. All right. Tarvin, how was it? It's barely phased. Hops, are you killing people again? Like civilian people? You need to not. Direct hit. That, that ought to have done a decent bit, because those are like pretty proper in damage. Ten fatal wounds. Oh, wow. Mm. Who's sleeping over here? Oh, okay, nice. One of the soldiers. Cool, so that is the fire extinguisher then. Right on. <laughs> 